so now uh, we know that we are going to do a procedure which might need uh, the antibiotic prophylaxis in certain patients so who are those patients if a patient has a previous history so anything which has a previous history let's say something that we can revise later but if it is within last six months then it will be considered as the previous history so if the patient has any previous history of infective endocarditis yes but if the patient has an active rheumatic heart disease no remember this is no right and then uh when a patient has a valvular disease a disease or a mitral valve prolapse anything any disease or any mitral valve prolapse any kind of valvular disease um, it does not need the antibiotic prophylaxis remember the valvular disease it does not need the antibiotic prophylaxis the congenital heart disease might need but the valvular disease does not need right except for one condition when it develops after the transplant so transplant has been done and after that the valvular disease has developed then it needs the prophylaxis otherwise it does not need the prophylaxis um now in any kind of condition like stunt joint replacement hip joint replacement any bypass surgeries no nothing it's not needed so previous history of endocarditis or when only after uh, cardiac transplant a valvular disease has developed or in case of the congenital heart disease only these are the three conditions when the patient will need the antibiotic prophylaxis now the congenital heart disease not all again only few so first of all we have the cyanotic and we have the non-cyanotic if it is a non-cyanotic uh, heart disease like um, articular septal defect or uh, ventricular septal defect or patent ductus arteriosus pda no you don't need it but if it is any of the t's uh, then you need the this is a cyanotic one then you need the antibiotic prophylaxis so if it is any of the unrepaired cyanotic defect yes you need it or let's say you have repaired a valve right uh, or repaired um, a heart disease congenital heart disease and it is within the last six months yes or let's say you have repaired but there is a residual defect yes so see it's pretty simple number one if there is a history yes okay and number two certain kind of congenital heart diseases in congenital heart diseases you have repaired within six months yes again it kind of is the history repair within six months yes or you have repaired but the residual has left yes or only when it is unrepaired or when you haven't done and there is a defect only the cyanotic ones that is the t's only the t's otherwise no and next is the cardiac transplant uh, sorry valvular disease only if it develops after the cardiac transplant so again only the three things number one there is a previous history of endocarditis yes um, there is a congenital heart disease uh, which you repaired within last six months or which you have tried to repair but uh, there is a residual defect these two right the third are if there is a congenital heart disease only the t's right only the cyanotic ones um, and you haven't done anything about it it is unrepaired so yes or valvular heart disease valves are all fine right valvular heart disease is all fine except when it develops after the cardiac transplant so in that case yes otherwise whatever you uh, hear about mitral valve prolapse or uh, mitral valve is also called bicuspid valve or stunt or joint replacement hip joint re replacement bypass surgery anything no you don't need it right so just remember this